Hello, this is Bishara with Philly Marketing Labs. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can track email newsletter subscriptions using Google Analytics. Uh, for an email newsletter platform at Philly Marketing Labs, we use MailChimp. Uh, but this, what I'm, about, what I'm about to show you uh, will probably apply to other email newsletter platforms. The way we currently have MailChimp set up is uh, the default way. When you click on sign up for, our, for the free newsletter, uh, a JavaScript light box will open up and the form is hosted on, on MailChimp itself. So we're not, we're not hosting the form. So here we go. This is the form. Uh, let's just fill it out. Labs.com. Uh, and we hit subscribe. Again, this is hosted uh, with with Mailchimp, so it's taking a little bit to communicate back and forth. And this is the current confirmation page. So this confirmation page is hosted on Mailchimp as well. So there is no way uh, to insert our Google Analytics tracking code in it, and therefore we can't use it as a goal in Google Analytics or an advanced segment, depending on how you like to track your conversions. Um, so this is the current way we're going to change that i'm going to show you how to log into mailchimp and set up a custom thank you page that lives on your uh, on your website so you can uh, track it and and have google analytics tracking code in it and run advanced segments and all that stuff so let's close this up and go to mailchimp once you log into mailchimp this is the default dashboard you want to go to lists and then pick the newsletter, uh, pick the, the email list that you want to work with. And currently, this is the one set up on our website. Uh, you want to select forms. MailChimp is running a little slow today. Come on, here we go. So by default, it will open up on the sign up form edit. So you can make the changes to your sign up form. What we want to do is we want to select the drop down arrow and pick sign up thank you page so this will load in a second here we go so this is what we just saw earlier um, the confirmation uh, page and what you can edit it here and add anything you want to it but what we're really interested in is this section right here um, what we want to do is we want to take that thank you page that we created and inserting it here so instead of displaying uh, the default page MailChimp will redirect the user back to our site to our thank you page that we created which has Google Analytics tracking code on it um, and this way we can close the loop and, uh, and track this visitor uh, in Google Analytics so let's go to the uh, thank you page we'll copy the URL we'll paste it here save it and we're going to select save and exit and we'll go back to our website and we will click on sign up for our newsletter and we'll do the same thing we'll call it delete and subscribe to list and here it is so this is our custom thank you page loaded um, so now this page is going to record a hit Google Analytics will track it because this lives on our website and um, we can build this way this any way we want you can uh, enhance this page by having links to your uh, social media channels subscribing to your RSS feed a phone number anything you wish you can you can add to this because now this lives on your website and you have complete control over it one thing I want to mention is the way this page is loading is in a JavaScript uh, light box this is a custom feature we have on our website uh, in most cases this would open up as a regular page and um, it won't be in this black frame and uh, the background will not dim uh, so this is it um, now we'll be able to track this in Google Analytics uh, if you have any questions about the video or comments, uh, please leave them in the in the comment boxes. Uh, but if you'd like to reach us directly, uh, here's our contact information. Feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Uh, hopefully this was beneficial. Thank you very much.